the GitHub code search engine. This is pretty neat. And I just got an invite uh, a couple of days ago. So if you go to cs.github.com, that's the URL of the site. I do hope they get a different URL because I feel like, I mean, I get it, it's computer science or code search.github.com, I guess. But I feel like it needs something a little more snappy. So most developers do use Google really to search for code. Uh, so this is sort of a new way of doing search specifically for code, obviously, that is on GitHub, but it's really powerful. And a couple of weeks ago, I talked about how uh, this new programming language called Rust is really taken over the web. Whenever uh, sort of mission critical things are happening that require a lot of speed, people are programming things in Rust. And sure enough, this particular search engine is actually written in Rust and it's super fast. Rust is like a compiled language that will compiled, uh, compile um, to JavaScript or something that you can run on the browser. Uh, so definitely it's something that you should take a look at learning in the next year. I think it provides, a, you know, presents an opportunity. Uh, so what you're seeing is either entire things or parts of bigger projects. So for example, I think Vite uses part part of Vite are written in Rust uh, and part, parts, I think, of Next.js. So um, there's a lot of work being done with Rust. So definitely check it out if you can. We do have a course on LinkedIn Learning on Rust, by the way. So th this is interesting because I've always been able to search for a code using GitHub. So if you go to a GitHub, uh, then you can just very quickly um, do a search. You can actually just type S and do a search. And you can also just do a question mark to get all of the commands. Uh, so you can open a command palette with command shift K, command shift K just in um, uh, and, uh, GitHub. But this is actually a separate project that puts everything on a different URL. And I think it's a little bit better. It really focuses. So when I do searches on GitHub, it's pretty much to search my own repos and it's not that it's cumbersome, but it's just sort of different. So this is interesting that they're providing sort of a different way of doing this. Now here you can, for example, select different scopes. So scopes allow you to search for a specific repository. So in this case, it gives you my repository. This will be obviously yours, but then you can also define custom scopes. So for example, we have another sort of team called LinkedIn Learning here where we put all the code for our uh, courses and you can, uh, check this out uh, and create sort of a custom way to search in here. So that's pretty cool. There's also some shortcuts. So you can actually type in here uh, just whatever you want. So you could say something like markdown slides or something like that. And it's going to search within the specific team. So let's go ahead and switch that to planet of the web. Uh, and it's just going to find everything. You see how quick it is. It's really very responsive. Uh, the, the thing that's different about this search engine is that uh, whenever you click on code, it's going to take you to that code segment. Uh, and it's giving you sort of a search just like you would in a text editor. It feels like a piece of Visual Studio code. When you take a look at this, the editor is pretty cool. Uh, and you can actually also highlight multiple lines like this. And another thing that I thought was pretty awesome is that you can actually jump straight into the code once you do a search. If you want to jump straight into the code, just like you can with GitHub, you can just hit the period key. And this is actually going to launch um, a code space with that file open and let you just get in there and edit the file. So very quickly launch the code space with that result and it lets me go in there and edit that piece of code. Now this is still under beta, so you know uh, not everything's perfect. I can see that it's not really giving me syntax highlighting here, although this is markdown, so this is maybe a little bit tricky. So perhaps something like JavaScript, it would be a little bit better um, at. So uh, there's also a lot of different, so here's how you do scope searches. You can, just like you actually, you could do this in GitHub as well. You can type in like org colon and then a specific organization uh, and then type in some other qualifiers that allow you to sort of customize the search and get you whatever you want. The other cool thing is you can do file paths. So you can type in and notice this one right here is actually a regular expression. So if you, if you add slashes to your text, it allows you to do a regular expression search which I'm not sure if you could do that just with the regular GitHub 
search. There's a lot of other stuff that you can do in here. Uh, I do like you can search for an exact match. I don't think I have any out of memory things uh, for specific text within your code. And also, uh, there's also a way of doing Boolean operators. So this looks amazing. Uh, I have been testing it out just really for the past couple of days. So I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that uh, this is going to get a lot better. I don't know if right now, if you go there, if you're going to see a uh, sort of um, just a uh, get an invite, or if it's if they're opening it up to everyone. Usually. When they open up things, I find that unless I really bug them about it, that I get an invite um, and a few days later, it just releases to everyone.